Welcome back to our tech. Today I'm going to unbox the Heidecker men's waterproof trim and clipper. So this is something I bought on Amazon India and just giving you a heads up, there's no demoing the trimming capabilities of the product here. Just showing you what the product looks like and what you get once you pay for this product. So it comes in this huge box. Uh, this is the RFC 690. Let me just cut this open and show you how it looks inside. Has a 150 minute runtime, 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm of short hair trimming capability. Has a ceramic blade and a titanium blade combo. So uh, one part of the blade is ceramic and the upper part or outer part of the blade is actually titanium. So uh, should last a long time, hopefully. And this thing is completely cordless, uh, has uh, a lithium ion battery and you know, it's uh, USB chargeable. Uh, the best part is they also give you an extra lithium ion battery. So let's have a look at that a little later. So this unit is completely waterproof. So like I mentioned, uh, it's completely cordless and uh, motor is made of a silver, alum a silver alloy, it's supposed to run really, really fast and quiet. Also, you know, they have about six attachments in total, along with the protective cover. We'll see that in a while. Okay, opening this box, um, I was a bit disappointed at first because, uh, you know, look at the material they've used. Okay, there's a, there's a comb inside, which is given free of cost. Now, this packaging was really, really bad because what you see in this plastic is something that you get with some of these cheaper toys for kids and it's not really going to hold a long time so you'll have to find an alternative place to keep this stuff so those are the attachments there are about six of them plus one protective case covering so like i mentioned there's a comb there's a small little manual sorry about the flicker but there's a nice little manual okay what we also have is a nice charger it's a one amp charger usb capable charger there's also a cable provided it's proprietary, so make sure that you don't lose it or damage it because it's going to be difficult to replace this. And we also have a nice vertical stand. In case you have the place, you can keep this and this unit will stand on that. And now getting onto the clips. So there are various lengths of uh, clips available and they start from 3mm all the way to about 24mm, I'm guessing. And uh, there's also a protective cap that you can add to your trimming head so that it doesn't damage when it uh, doesn't damage when it accidentally hits something. Yeah, so a lot of clipping options for you, uh, different clips. And that's the protective covering you see. Okay, this is also a small little brush given for cleaning purposes. And that's the trimmer. Okay, just before I picked it up, I also found the spare battery inside. And it's uh, a really good gesture by providing an extra battery, especially for trimmers. And this particular model has this extra battery, which is really, you know, something you can charge outside uh, of the device. So, okay, let me just show it to you exactly what I mean. So if I get the battery out, you'd see that it's actually got the charging terminals at the back of the extra battery. So that means you can keep this charged while you're using the trimmer. So that's a nice thing. So you don't have to remove the battery to charge the spare battery. Way to go. And it's got its own indicator light as well. So that's a nice touch. Okay, now let's get back to the trimmer. It's okay. Now this is really heavy. It's got a glossy finish and it feels, <laughs> it just feels like one of those glass pack phones, very slippery in the hand. And uh, I mean, it's good finish. Don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> it's really slippery. And you can see the adjustable ring there. So that's for your uh, minor adjustments from 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm. So that, that's a circular ring. You can just twist it and it'll give you a smaller precision length. And that's the charging point at the back of the actual trimmer as well. And uh, some details written on the trimmer itself, made by Hat Taker. I don't know whether you just call it Hat Taker or Hay Taker. So that's one of the names. It's completely waterproof. That's really nice to have and you can just wash this thing every time you use it and uh, this runs uh, at about just five watts of power so that's really good okay, let's go ahead and switch this on for the first time 
So this is one button on this whole unit. There's a big screen there for the LED display. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And there you go, it's 90 minutes of runtime. So this thing is really super quiet. And um, the white ceramic blades look a bit weird, but it's got this nice titanium bit at the top that makes it look really, really cool. Otherwise, the device is really nice in hand, in the hand. Let's do a small demo here. And uh, just, I mean, it's not much, okay. And that worked really well. And I didn't feel a thing, so works fine. I'm going to go ahead and open the back of this unit to replace the battery. Let me see how easy it is. And right away you can see it's got these rubberized silicone rings to protect the water from going inside the unit. And that's the battery which is actually inside at the moment. And like I mentioned, both are similar pieces. Both can be charged outside separately. So that's a nice feature. Thumbs up. So let's go ahead and put this back. And just remember this won't go the other, other way around. So uh, if you put the battery the wrong way, it's not gonna go in. So we just turn this the other way around and you know, it should work fine. So it's time to try the clips on. I'm just gonna show you how quickly you can add one on. So this is one of the longer clipping length add-ons and it's very simple. You just place it and press it in place and it locks in, that's it. As simple as that. Just feels a little delicate though. I don't know how strong they are. It just holds firmly and looks like it can do a good job. So let me show you how the protective cover looks on top. I really don't see myself using this often, but here's how it kind of locks in place and it protects the whole upper unit of the plate. There you go. So it's it's quite good now and you know you should be able to save it from small nicks and scratches. So along with the manual, there's a small note, which I mentioned, uh, which talks about the brand and you know, they just want to thank you for purchasing it. It does have uh, a warranty on it and uh, you can just call these guys if there's any problem and they should be able to take it back from you and replace it or repair it. So that's uh, something they've always mentioned here and uh, they look like somebody who really care about selling their products to the customers. So the amount of gloss on this thing is insane, right? And I really feel that if you're not careful, this will actually slip out of your hand and there's a big chance that you're gonna drop this. So um, usually you see some of the brands like Philips and Braun using matte finish, but these guys have gone for this glossy finish. It really helps keep that look, but I just feel it's making it really slippery. Well, let's go ahead and kind of plug in the charger. And uh, just before that, let me tell you that this is a lockdown option, so if you press this power button for a few seconds, it'll go into lockdown mode, which means uh, just accidentally switching it on while it's in a packed luggage won't happen. So you gotta just hold down the power button for about five seconds and it's locked. You see the lock button there, which kind of shows you that it's not gonna work till you unlock the device. Okay, now this is the head unit. I just removed it out of its body. You just have to uh, put some slight pressure towards the blade and pull it towards you and it should come off separately. It's pre-oiled, so there's a lot of oil inside and uh, I think that's standard across all kind of trimmers. Yeah, that's the ceramic blade at the inside of the unit and this is the other end of the device which has a motor and the housing inside. So I just plugged in the charger and you can see there's a red light at the back of the unit which means the battery has a separate charging unit on it and the LED unit also displays a red uh, plug which indicates it's actually actually charging and this red light at the back of the unit will turn green once the battery is fully charged and this device will not work when it's plugged in just something to remember right so all of this is uh, super cool uh, this brand seems underrated because uh, the product quality is really really good finish is really on par with some of the bigger names and so is the rating on Amazon I have left links in the description in case you're interested to buy the product I definitely recommend this product and pretty sure it won't let you down. If you like this video, please do hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Subscribe, do share this video and once again, thank you so much for watching our tech. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.